All right, guys. Todd H here, the Lug Nuts Hot Rod Garage, and uh, believe it or not, I'm pretty much done with the uh, with the '50 Chevy. Um, this was by far the longest I took to build a model. It took me pretty much three months. Um, This is a really cool model. Um, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. I still have things I need to work on. Um, but without further ado, here's what I've got for it. And a lot of you guys have seen, I've done a lot of updates on this build. Um, so I don't really imagine that this is going to be a huge surprise as to how it's what it's looking like um, I decided this weekend that I needed to get this finished up um, this will also be kind of a I'll be showing you what my next project's going to be um, I have not I've, I've pretty much decided that I don't think I'm going to glue down the bed because I want to have the option to take it off. Um, so that, you know, some of the weathering, I can show some of the weathering. That's the underside to it. Let's see if I can bring it in a little closer. There's the hood. Hopefully that's going to focus. Um, at some point I am going to figure out what to do for an exhaust system. Um, I saw Chucky Monster's video earlier today and it looks like a 22, an empty 22 bullet casing works really well. Um, it, it was a perfect option for a collector. Um, I don't have any 22 empty 22 shells at the moment um, and I guess I can show you guys I think I'm gonna take this out of the holder sorry about this guys if this starts to get a little shaky um, some of the weathering actually a lot of the weathering I did I did with pastels um, I sprayed the chrome with uh, with the dull coat. Um, there's the engine. It's my fender well headers made out of solder. Um, thanks to Chevy Cheeseburger on on doing tutorials on building headers. Um, The glass came out a little better this time. Um, I'm a little happier with how the glass came out. Um, the interior, I think I showed the bucket in a previous video, the interior bucket. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus. Um, but all that work I did on the interior and can't hardly see it. but. I know it's in there, so I guess that's all that matters, right guys? Um, so in my one of my first videos on this on this build, um, for some reason I the lesson I learned was to go through the instructions before I start tearing into the parts. Um, because these fenders come with oh, I got a little pointer here. These fenders come with a little skirt that comes across here and it looks really odd and I thought it was flashing and I just promptly went ahead and just flopped those off. Well, now you can see what happens when you do that. You have this open space right here. Um, oh well, live and learn, right? Um, this is only my third model. Um, 
so I'm definitely living and learning, you can say. Um, this is a really cool kit, guys. Um, I've got two more. Um, I've bought two more of them. And uh, I don't know what direction I'm going to go with the other builds. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try and make one of the other ones a shiny one of this kit. Um, see what I can do with that. I haven't done a whole lot of real shiny stuff yet. And in all honesty, it kind of makes me nervous because I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Um, kind of as a little bit of a... I guess you could call it maybe a tribute or a thank you to Dr. Cranky. Um, this is where I got the idea for this truck. He did one similar to this. Of course, his came out five million times better than this, but this color scheme and the idea of the salting um, I got from a video that he did a year and a half, two years ago. And uh, so I thought I'd put a Dr. Cranky decal on this one. I would love to get a decal made, some decals made for my lug nuts hot rod garage. If any of you guys have any ideas on that, I was going to try and do my own, but I'm having issues with the printer that I have access to right now, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But Anyway, um, I do need to still put the license plates on it. Um, but other than that, it's pretty well done. Um, I did put a Holly Dominator carburetor on here. Um, as it sits, this is probably a lot more of a hot rod than it is a, a shop truck. Um, but anyway, that's where that's at, guys. Um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, of course, I know where all the imperfections are. I don't know over time how much those are going to bug me or if I'm just going to leave them as they are and have them as reminders for future learning experiences. Um, one thing I did do, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this or not, but I did not glue the back part of the seat. Let's see if I can get, yeah. Um, I don't know, I just thought it was neat because, you know, in the idea of being able to get, you know, store small things there back behind the seat in the cab area. Um, so I didn't glue that part down so that that'll move forward. Um, anyway, um, that's, that's that. Um, Please uh, don't hesitate to leave comments. Um, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, it's I've done so many updates on this that you guys are probably going to be like, ah, oh, big deal. Um, here is my next project. First question I have for you guys is, does this 3-in-1 kit give me the option to do a bone stock? 32 Ford. Um, my dad likes some original. Uh, he likes he likes hot rods and things that go fast, but when it comes to this kind of stuff that reminds him of his childhood, he likes it original. Um, but anyway, I was going to build this one as a tribute for him. He was born in 1932, so that's that's going to be the next one guys that I'm going to be working on. Um, if any of you know please comment um, let me know if this has the option to build an original 32 or if it's just three different kinds of hot rods that I can build. Um, anyway this video is getting kind of long um, I don't like to have my videos be more than about five minutes because I don't like to bore you guys. Real quickly I will say I think I'm up to 205 subscribers and in all honesty, um, like so many other guys say, I can't believe it's gotten to be that many. I'm really not that interesting of a person. Um, but thank you all for subscribing and, and, and watching. And uh, it's appreciated. 
anyway, I hope you all had a great holiday weekend. Uh, again, remember why we celebrate this holiday. Um, my dad served 20 years in the Air Force. I did four years in the Air Force. Um, I've got a nephew that was killed in Iraq in 2004. Um, so I come from a lot of military people in my family. Um, anyway, hope you all had a great weekend, and we'll talk to you later.